So guys, still on the Cora and Justin Dean matter, apparently after some hours when Cora don't come out with her own proof, let us know say Justin Dean was even cheating on her in the marriage with a 18-year-old Brazilian girl and she showed proof of how Justin Dean was chatting and having fun with her when he traveled to Brazil. Now, Justin Dean don't come out with him on. Hey, let us know, say everything Kurade talk now lies. And this time around, she go face the law for their country, America, where they did together. According to Justin Dean, Kura cheated when she was four, four months pregnant. And that even led to an infection. And now him, because of imperfection, doctor, he treated that infection. Everything Kura can tell us for social media, now lie and everything from him now true. Now see this life. Say <laughs> everybody they fighting on. I don't know what is the meaning of this. Today love, tomorrow hate. How can a couple who love themselves so much that even everybody they admire their love for social media hate themselves to this extent come begin drop their dating line for everybody? Internet doesn't forget anything. Just indeed, don't let us know, say this matter, he no go fight time for social media because he don't need any validation from here. Waiting in go do, now make Cora face the law because everything she can't talk for here, now lie. Anyway, he started it, now if I drag out Cora Obidi, let us know how she was a chronic cheater and a narcissist. According to Justin Dean, Cora don't vow, say, she go destroy in, in career for that country. And that's not waiting Kora won't achieve. But now, anyway, my people, make I let you now listen from the horse's mouth because Justin Dean said a lot here. We don't even know who to believe. But Nigerians and online in-laws take Justin Dean to also show proof just the way Kora did. Sometimes make we not dare very quick to judge because there is always a two side to every story. At the initial beginning, everybody was against Kora because she never said her own part of the story. Now, when B says she don't spill out just a little, see the way everybody they love her. Sometimes don't die in silence. Speak up for yourself so that tomorrow you go day proud of yourself as well. Guys, this is Nabazi News. Watch the video to the end and drop your comments. I was able to prove that it was not true. I never physically assaulted Kora. She constantly was trying to get me to, but I am not a physically abusive man. Have I called her names? Yes, I have. Why? Why would I call her names? Because she told me that Athena may not be my child. And then I found out via text messages that I received from the girl who she ended in the, who she or cheated on when she was pregnant with a fiend. I have text messages proof, and I've talked to the girl who, who gave me the messages, who ended the engagement with her fiance of seven years or whatever it was, because, because she had slept with a pregnant woman. Four months pregnant, she was sleeping with other men. And I have proof. I'm not gonna post it. I didn't even wanna talk about it. But that's what she's carrying on about. She's carrying on and she's trying to destroy my reputation. She's, she's, she's violating the privacy of our kids. She's saying lies about me. She's purgatory in court. These are felonies. You go to jail for this stuff. As far as that girl in Brazil, she is my friend. And she's about to put out a video that she was paid to say such things. She was my friend. It was a big group of friends. We'd go out and party while Cora was in Nigeria sleeping with other men. I have proof, plenty of proof. I don't care to keep arguing about this. I'm trying to co-parent in peace. I am not physically abusive. Have I? Or it means absolutely. It is something that I've done out of extreme frustration. She has told me, and again, I have proof that she was going to kill Athena and then divorce me. This is the kind of stuff that I'm dealing with on a constant basis. She has told me to kill myself on several occasions. She's told me she's going to kill me in my sleep. And I have text message proof of all of this. So this is 
what she's doing, and I have text message proof of this as well, she's trying to destroy my career. I have text messages of her saying, you will never work again. All because I said that she's a narcissist and a cheater. So when this comes out, when this comes out in this custody battle, I'm not trying to fight for my kids. She has now done things that are legally illegal. She is lying in court and public. She cares more about social media than she does her family because what she's saying is illegal because it's not true. It is, a, it is purgatory. She lied on official police documents. We went to court for that. And look who has their kids, me. I'm trying to co-parent in peace with this woman and she is trying everything she can to destroy me because she thinks I'm gonna tell people she cheated when she was pregnant, that she had threesomes with Peruzzi and I am some case, and she had threesomes with all these different people. She would organize threesomes for these men. Like, I really don't care about any of this stuff. I'm trying to create a positive, peaceful, loving environment for my girl. And this woman is trying to destroy me because I embarrassed her? How, how, how is she putting her kids first? She's violating their privacy. She's telling kids, that, she's telling people that I beat my children when I hadn't even seen them, that they come back with bruises. The nurse that I have is hired by me to protect me from her false allegations. Like, if you want to follow a step-by-step -step process and how to lose your custody of your kids, just watch her, Insta her, her Facebook over the last two or three weeks. I'm not saying anything. I have all this dirt on her, and I'm not trying to say anything. I'm literally trying to live out my life in peace. I'm trying to create a positive, warm environment for, for um, my children. And... And now her mother is going online saying lies, which is a felony, because it's provable that she's lying. It's definition of character. And she said in the police, official police reports in a restraining order, which is purgatory. It's a felony three years in jail. Leave Cora alone. I'm leaving her alone. I'm trying to co-parent in peace and she's constantly getting on the internet and berating my character. Like, this is a woman that has cheated while pregnant and came back with an infection, a bacterial infection that was potentially going to make her get a C-section. How is that putting your kids first? And then when I ask her, and then when I ask her, is this child mine because I'm having nightmares for three months? She said, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. And then when we're at the ultrasound and she's seeing, and she's seeing the, the video of her baby and she's like, that's an African baby. She's in shock. She made the doctor walk out of the room because he was so uncomfortable. I'm not here seeking pity. I'm here defending myself because what she's saying can get me to lose my license as a medical professional. And that's what her stated goal is. And I'm gonna show text message proof, but I already showed text message proof, but you guys all reported it so fast because you guys are all supporting a woman that cheats while her belly is full of my baby. I can prove every one of these things without a shadow of a doubt. But I'm not going to do it on here because I'm not trying to win people's court. I'm trying to win the legal court. I'm trying to have a positive, inner, positive, loving environment for my kids to grow up in. Did I walk out of my, my children? Yes, I walked out of my children so that... They wouldn't see mommy and daddy fighting every single day. And for Cora not to say that she wished June was never being born in front of her and then nearly dislocate her fucking shoulder. Someday my kids are going to watch this because of her actions. Like, how is this what's best for my children? Who cares who did what to who during a marriage? It doesn't matter anymore. I got upset and I called her out on the internet. I made a mistake. She did the same, except this is real serious allegations that are lies. I never assaulted Cora. 
she has been trying to plant that in her friends, in her family. And I tried to post a text message of her admitting that she was lying and you guys took it down. I'll post it again. Or any blog out here that wants to see it, I will show you all the proof you need. I'm not trying to badmouth her. I'm not trying to be a defamation of character. Defamation of character is when what you're saying is a lie and it affects the person. What she's saying about me is lies. And what I'm saying about her is true. I've said no lie here. So I'm not going to say any more about this. I'm going to leave it to the court. But she's already lost this battle. If what she was saying was true, I would not be allowed to see my children right now. But I am. Shame on you, Cora. Your daughters are going to see this when, you're, when they're older. 